of course it was like, okay, what do we do? Do we do it? Do we go? And what's up? I think you should. I'm Visana Lopilato. Mia Colucci, I was 15 years old when I did Rebel the Way. As a teenager, I think at that time, I didn't think so much of the dangers, right? If you ask me now, probably, I don't know if I will let my daughter in the middle of the world, like I will, I will be like, I have to be there. I need to, t I need to see it. I, I don't know. I'm mama bear. When we arrived there, I think that we didn't know that we were that famous. <laughs> Crazy, crazy. How would you feel? Like, I, I still telling people those stories. There were so many fans, so many people in the airport. From the very beginning was, this is incredible. This is amazing. <laughs> Thomas? Kamatapo? Shalom, Javerin. I'm Nico Comagio. I used to play Thomas in Rebel the Way. Oh, thanks. Give me a kiss. I remember we didn't know if everybody was coming to Israel or just the four main characters. I was like, please, please, take me. I want to be in the show. I want to be in Israel. We knew that the show was successful, but we didn't know so much. They took us into a room and they told us how uh, the security worked, what we needed to be careful with. I remember they put me two bodyguards. They, they was telling me everything that we had to follow, right? The rules. Our idea was like war. Every day people are dying. And then we, we understood that the security, it was not about war. It was about the fans. <laughs> I remember that we were in the hotel and the fans used to hide. And I remember that walking and they come out from the doors and like the private places from the hotel, right? se colaban por los ductos de la calefacción. Aparecían como, como por todos lados, era una cosa de locos. So, we had to move to another hotel. There was something strange, like a bag on the floor, and the police started to, to suspect something, and they, they took the people around, and they, they sent a small robot to check what it was. It was scary. I was shocked. המשטרה מטפלת באיום, אבל מאחורי הקלעים, תחושות החרדה מתגברות ומקשות על כולם. Some kids were really scared. I remember Felipe, for example, was like, I'm not sure it's going to be safe. אבל כמו אימא שרואה את ילדיה בשעת משבר, קריס מורנה אוספת את כולם לשיחה. ובדיוק כמו בסדרות שכתבה, גם הפעם היא דוגלת במסר של תקווה. Cuando hay mucho amor, es raro que pase algo. Pero esa es una teoría mía. Cuando hay tanto amor y tanta alegría, y además nos sentíamos que veníamos a llevar esa luz que no estaban teniendo, ¿entendés? En un momento de guerra. You give me, you know what? You give me chicken skin. I always do what my heart tells me to do. You know what I mean? Look, I have a, you know, chicken skin. The shows, they were amazing. You know, everything that I remember about being in Israel, it gives me such a good feeling. Finally, somebody is coming, you know, finally, and I understood a little bit of the importance of, of going to Israel. At that time, I didn't know I was, or we were doing that in people, right? In people, we changed those lives. I think it's in the, in the memories of all the people that were involved in that tour. I, I think it made me a different person. It, it, it's part of my, my history, like it's part of my, who I am.